I think let's go uh, one step back, as, as you already described, uh, the crypto environment uh, has a lot of attention, it becomes kind of mainstream. And you look, look at Deutsche Börse, um, and if you look at the exchanges in general, I think Deutsche Börse is the, the, the largest player in the lit market when it comes down to, to ETFs and ETNs. So I think it was quite natural when the, the first uh, ETN issuer on Bitcoins came to us for, for a listing. Well, you, you pointed out the difference between ETFs and, and, and ETNs. Uh, ETFs basically are, are funds. Uh, the ETNs are the nodes, uh, which is a debt in instrument. Uh, and uh, it's also that the ETN has only one under underlying. So in that case, the Bitcoin or, 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 or the Ether. So when then uh, back in June, the ETC group came to us with, uh, uh, with, a, with a Bitcoin, followed by uh, 21 shares and, and on fund egg, uh, we found it extremely interesting. Why? Because the prospectus of the issuers are approved by a regulator. Then as, a, uh, as an exchange, we were able to clear those ETNs in, um, in, in our CCP, Euro Clearing. So we take away some of the uh, settlement risk, uh, risk. And then we attracted also uh, international market makers with XTX and flow traders to provide con uh, continuously liquidity to the market. So what we are trying to achieve, obviously, is to have a transparent market. Um, we have liquidity in the market, so we can attract retail, uh, but also institutional uh, investors to get exposure to the cryptocurrencies. The regulation point, I think, is very important because out of all the regulators, at least in Europe, Baffin seems to be the one that's honing in the most on cryptocurrency regulation. Would you say that that is a, an overall positive in general for the outlook for cryptocurrencies from here and in attracting new types of investors to get involved in these ETNs? I think if you look at the from an investor point, point of view, I think it's important to have a regulated uh, environment, a transparent environment. Well, I think the BaFin here, uh, they approve the prospectus of, of, the, of the issues, um, which gives some, uh, some comfort to, to, the, to the investor. The investor, of course, still has to read the prospectus and has to make a judgment call on, uh, on, on, on the risk. Um, um, and I think from an exchange, from a platform, uh, platform point of view, it's extremely important that we have the transparency, that we have actually also market supervision, market surveillance to look at, at an orderly market, uh, which should give a lot of comfort to, uh, to, to the investor, but it's institutional investor, also retail investor. If you look at the split a little bit, I think um, it's, it's not so easy for us to, uh, to see um, who is trading, but if you look at order sizes, um, I would say that we have currently 80% uh, institutional investors and 20% retail investors. It's a little bit different picture in the, in the ETF uh, uh, um, environment where you see 90% of uh, institutional investors versus 10% of the retail investors. And when it comes to retail investors, um, one of the things, one of the topics we've been discussing over the last couple of months on the show is around the risk of retail investors getting involved via ETFs in high risk assets. Uh, talking about ETF SPACs, for example, and now obviously talking about ETFs in the cryptocurrency space. And I know you've gone ahead and launched these ETNs, not ETFs, but do you think there is enough protection out there for retail investors as they gain exposure to some of these volatile assets? I think as an infrastructure provider and platform, and it's a really important question, um, we, we make sure that we have an orderly trading environment, a regulated trading environment with supervision, with liquidity, with liquidity providers. I think uh, for the investors, whether it's retail investors or institutional investors, they have to make their own risk assessment whether or not they want to get exposure into the, in, into the crypto world. I think... If you decide, uh, the way I look at it, if you decide to get ex exposure, I think the next question should be, in what kind of environment uh, do I want to get this exposure? Do you want to have a regulated market? Do I have market supervision? Do I, have, do I want to have transparency? Do, do I want to have um, uh, market makers uh, providing liquidity? Um, and if that's a yes, which should be a yes, right? 
then I think you, you're well placed uh, uh, training those ETNs uh, on our platform.